the truth comes out. Can we get, oh yes, look at that. Another spacer. The head gasket looks perfect. enough of this fooling around. Now we can play with the motor. Oops, just blow the crap off it. I have been considering putting in a little dual or triple outlet for the air compressor. Okay, you guys with me? With the, in, with the exhaust valve closed and the intake valve open, if it's open, if the valve has truly lost its seal, we might be able to spin this valve right here. No, we can't. But it's, let's check the intake and see what it does. Nope. Okay. I just got to get some more tools out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, now we're going to take that valve out. The intake valve is okay. The exhaust valve needs to be taken out and just a little bit of material taken off the bottom of the valve. So, George Jurevich sent me this, these uh, valve spring pliers and I've used them. I have not done a video about them, but I've used them. So now I'm this grabs the valve, this squishes down on the valve like that, gets closer and closer, and it squishes the valve enough so that you can take the keeper out. Got to get a flashlight. It's real close. Where is the... Uh... Well, not quite. These are pretty small valves on these four horsepower. I can't uh, get you guys in here all the time. Okay, there's the valve. It just comes. If I can, just comes out of there. I'm going to take the valve out. Okay, I am going to uh, just clean off the top of that cylinder a little bit. Got a brass brush here. I'm going to use a small one, small brass brush. I guess I should put that valve in there for a minute. Alright guys, first I'm going to uh, lap the intake valve. Putting a little bit of lapping compound on the valve itself. Don't need a lot. And uh, make sure our spring is out of there. And I have my brand new, never been used, valve lapping tool. Perfect. And I'm going to just lower this rig down a bit. And after I lock them, I'm going to check the clearance again. Well, oh, that sounds good. My old one wouldn't stay sucked on. You hear how that gets a little bit higher each time? Well, that's what you want to hear. It's kind of a sound. It, it goes up in frequency. Tiny bit more lapping flip compound on here. And we'll wash everything down after. <laughs> you gotta hold your tongue, you're right. Good. 
and I'll just do that with the exhaust one after I grind it. I'll be back in a bit. I hope you guys saw some of that. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I get in the way, right? You, you uh, stick the valve tool down so it, because you lift it like that, and you just grind away like that. But these actually look really good, so now I can take that out and we'll see what kind of an edge we have on there. And I'm going to clean everything up with solvent before I put it back together. So now if you look really careful there, there's a nice gray edge all the way around. Good. Okay, now the exhaust valve. We're out of you. I, I redo everything twice when I'm doing something like this, guys, so just have patience with me. That's our ten thousands. It won't go in. So now, this is the tricky part. I'm going to take the tiniest of tiny bit off that. And I'll be right back. I'm going to use my grinder. I don't have anything finer than that. Okay, guys, I'm just going to show you what's going on with the valve. Uh, this is one, and to take ten thousandths off of there, if you look really close, I'll just zoom in. There's a bevel. Wait for it to focus. Maybe not. There we go. There's a bevel on the valve there. Do you see that? And I just watched to see how much of the bevel I take away. I would say that that entire bevel on there is 30 thousandths. So if you take away, you only go half a step. So just taking away a quarter of that bevel would be a good start for me. Everybody's different on this one. And that stone on this side is a rougher one. And this one is a, quite a fine one, right? So I use my finest stone that I've got. And let's get you turned on. Oh. So, I just touch it on there and I watch and keep an idea how, how much of this bevel I'm taking off, that little tiny little angle right there. And I just touch it on there, I roll it, and that's it. So now it's got a bit of a sharpness to the edge right there. So we turn this off, and come back out. And as you'll see, right on the end there, it's a little rough. I don't know if I can do this or not. <laughs> okay, now I've got my other grinder. And I used the wire brush just to take off the uh, marks from the grinder on the, on the end of the valve. So here we go. That's pretty good. Now that's how I do it. It's a bit crude, but it does work. Okay, we're going to lap this. Perfect fit. Good. So I 
just bought new light controls this year. And uh, it's absolutely amazing how much one more wonderful this is to do. I mean, it's fun anyway. There we go. That should do it. Okay, now I'm going to clean everything up. Zoom back up. And uh, then we'll see what our clearances are. Because I actually believe that once you lap these, you gain about a thousandth of an inch. Or so, you know. Like, I'm not a scientist, right? Okay, I've got the valve set in there. Nice and squashed. I want to be able to lift it out and then uh, set that portion onto the valve. Let's do this! It's got it. Good. Oh, that was kind of fun. Let's do the exhaust one. I know we're getting along. Battery's getting low. So anyway, I guess I'll do the exhaust one after. Okay, guys. We're putting things back together again. Everything's cleaned up nice. The head gasket survived. It's a good old one. And I still think they made stuff better in the old days. Probably hazardous materials, right? So the, assemb the assembly is exactly the opposite of the uh, disassembly, of course. I'm just putting the lid back on my valve grinding stuff. You know what I the amount of the stuff I use, I bought this back when I was in my 30s. That's probably why it works. So anyway, we're looking good. I'm going to get my torque wrench out. And uh, we're going to put this bad boy back together again. You don't have to see that because you saw how it went together. Bye. Alright guys, we are now bolting it back up. I've got the head gasket on. I did torque it to 230 foot 230 inch pounds at 200 it says in the book 160 to 200 inch pounds but I think this one's been torqued once or twice so I just took it up a notch so that we would have an even torque uh, I'm just putting this little door on for the valves here right there you see that where we did our valve adjustment right we didn't do the intake but we did do the exhaust and uh, then after that, it's just a matter of finding an intake manifold gasket and cleaning these two ports up and throwing the carb on. So I'll invite you back at that point. Okay, let's do a pull. Pull choke. Key on. Three quarters throttle. Got it. Thanks, tubes. I mean, excuse me. Thanks, guys. 